story courtesy of Mixmag. It says Oxy Garden in Berlin has been closed due to noise complaints, which is really upsetting because I was actually planning to go and check this place out. Um, I think I kind of it came to my attention. I'm gonna say during the beginning of COVID because I think I might have been when it actually opened, and it was one of the only what. Well, and it, obviously that was um, a time when it came about because that was when Berlin were experimenting with kind of open air parties and stuff and allowing people to gather outdoors. This was kind of during the first peak, first second peak, whatever it may be, and obviously a lot of outdoor spaces kind of places were popping up all over the place um there's another one called prince lauer Berg bar something there's a few that popped up out of the, out of the blue kind of overnight and they seem to be doing fairly well people seem to be enjoying them they were obviously kind of built with the idea of being open air so they kind of really kind of you know worked really well in the current predicament that we're in and were just a cool um way to you know rave if you couldn't be raving indoors and of course in a place like berlin it made complete sense so i was really looking forward to going myself and the programming was really good fairly extensive um a good range of people playing long short sets whatever it may be i think it ended at a fairly normal time not super you know late after 12 so it felt like a fairly cool place to go but it looks like in a really weird twist of events because it feels like there hasn't been a big maybe i'm misspeaking it but if i'm not mistaken it doesn't feel like there's been a big sweeping amount of kind of club closures recently in berlin for the most part most of them have kind of survived or well, maybe through grants and support from the community but uh, it feels like within the last few months or weeks there's been two or three places that have closed back to back to back to back to mostly due to neighbor noise complaints and i wonder if that's a consequence of just people again having the break because this has been probably the longest time that berlin for especially as a city has had any kind of prolonged period where clubs have been closed outside of wartime right or whatever it may be so with that neighbors have maybe gotten used to and enjoyed the idea of going out in their local neighborhoods especially if they live around clubs and not having you know condoms on the floor and drug paraphernalia and just people screaming and shit and noise you know what i mean they've gotten used to the luxury of that and now that they've been reopened they've suddenly become annoyed at things that they weren't annoyed at prior i, I wouldn't surprise me but then usually it feels like the berlin laws have or regulations or whatever it may be they usually have a law in place where they permit places to stay which you know i think it's less there's probably still gentrification over there i would assume so but it's probably not as bad as it is in london because in london it feels like if there's a cool happening place wherever it is in london that all the you know cool interesting people go to um they obviously make it hot they build their own places they build their own clubs and centers and studios and whatnot and then suddenly all this foreign money investment comes in and they build blocks of flats in there to obviously capitalize on the coolness of that postcode and then suddenly um the same people that made it cool get kicked out with no option of kind of living um you know um living in there with these new occupants um even though they made the area cool but it feels like in berlin they have these laws in place that kind of make sure that people who have been there prior have more say so and all this malarkey and there's constant dialogues going on between venues and local neighborhood groups and stuff so usually <coughs> they seem to have some sort of weird agreement <coughs> because if you've been there you'd know that most of the clubs aren't like in derelict nowhere places right they're usually within the main city centers city center limits sometimes around you know residential areas so the fact that they're able to go on for loads for you know early hours of the day without people complaining or you sometimes you've been to after parties where people are playing loud music and no one really knocks on doors and shit it just seems to be that like there's an understanding this is what people do but i don't know maybe again it's a covid thing people have kind of just had enough of it and be like you know what i kind of enjoy this peace and quiet i have in my neighborhood and i don't want to have these places back at the level that they were prior i don't know but let's continue the article says oxy garden building closed due to noise complaints it says oxy garden has announced it was closed until further notice the open air victoria starts it is starter venue confirmed on instagram they'll not be able to open this weekend due to local police confiscating a license so let's go to the actual post on instagram it says here the fairly it's a pretty good um post as well the graphic design is really cool that they use or the artwork art direction whatever they use for oxy garden is brilliant but again you know it's a sad state of affairs to have to give them compliment off the back of this news but hey announcement our venue will stay closed until further notice we hope to see you again soon says the post and the caption says regretfully the um latter 
that has forced us to close our venue for August until further notice. Absolutely brutal, isn't it? So there's big amounts of programming ahead. I'm sure there's a bank holiday coming up. Am I sure? Am I not sure? I'm pretty sure I'm sure. But regardless, there's a full programming ahead. So that's a lot of people that they're having to disappoint in terms of bookings and all that. And obviously the ability to earn money on their side of things. Just, oh, that must be gutting. So it's here, suddenly we have been dealing with so it continues said sadly we've been dealing with repetitive noise complaints from a small but vocal minority of neighbors despite taking out six figure loans and grants only for noise cancellation and technical reports certifying our compliance with the law and despite always communicating with them in advance and lowering our noise even below the legal limit each event took place in the approval and official permission of the council so far however the increasing complaints led to police entering our venue and confiscating our per per uh, permits under false pretense oh no we're currently fighting back but need to prioritize the safety of our staff and guests until we have rock solid legal solution otherwise bureaucrats in the lichtenberg and the police will continue to aid and abet these neighbors by finding new pretext to harass us authorities who have lauded um, themselves as the saviors of club culture have not helped us in any way and only paid lip service this is threatening everything that our team has worked for and achieved the blood sweat and tears the at this point the heartbreak and we are the situation we appreciate your support and hope to see you again soon so again like it it must be super disappointing because i've done with the exception of a few places it does feel like most of these clubs that pop up don't just pop up out of the blue they usually come through loads of communication and dialogue with local neighborhood groups they don't just you know pop up in a legal spot as they were prior in yesteryears because it's just not worth it to invest in the equipment the programming the production the staff and the security just for you to do a, an illegal event only for it to be locked down because the neighbors don't like it it's not worth it if you're going to do a proper place you're going to do it properly so to suddenly have this you know small but vocal minority of neighbors suddenly kick up a fuss about it it must be a bit of a kick in the balls but again um on the neighborhood side of things it just must be one of those weird things where unfortunately covid's given you this weird like relaxation period where you've been able to enjoy your neighborhood relative peace without the clubs and now that they've reopened some people just not having it even though they agreed prior they just changed their mind now which again it sucks if you're a fan of clubs but i can totally understand it on both sides i really can and i'm and i think this is where authorities and governments and stuff should come in and decide and just be able to call it and say hey you can't complain anymore we're not going to respond to your flipping cries and noise complaints these guys are doing what they need to be done in order to make sure they abide by all the you know limits and all that malarkey um let's just agree to disagree you don't like the noise they don't like that you keep complaining and let's just work out a plan and that suits both parties and go from there but this whole like holding of people's heads and calling people on the forays and stuff must be really frustrating and debilitating and i'd imagine too having people police arriving at your venue all the time to search it and to make sure you're complying with the ordinance can put people off as well so for club owners it's probably annoying to have that constant you know horde of you know official police polizai uniform people storming your club it's not the best thing for patrons it might put them off from coming again there's loads of things that go into it but you know again um rap to oxy garden for now um temporarily hopefully they reopen soon because again i want to check it out selfishly myself um but hey this is kind of the nature of the beast and it? it feels like with these clubs you've got to just enjoy them whilst they're there you can't really think too far ahead which is why i don't believe in the idea of buying tickets too far ahead i think you should kind of live your clubbing lifestyle day by day and just take every day as it comes and enjoy the moment live for the moment don't just think too far ahead because really unfortunately for the most part in most governments most countries it feels like there is a concerted effort to take away any kind of enjoyment recreational that in youth people or you know people in general seem to have and want to unwind it's just always been bizarre to me but hey what can you do